This is what we're going to make today. It's a swarm box or just a, a box to uh, transport bees in or you can catch a swarm in it even. Um, it's got a little latch here, handle. It's for uh, top bars. In there, there's seven of them in there. Now these were made, um, I met a guy, a new friend the other day that said if I build a, had a hive he would uh, catch me a swarm. So I've built the hive and built a sugar feeder and this I've just built and I'm getting ready to take this to him so that he'll have it when a swarm comes along um, and then these bars will transfer to my uh, top bar hive once they get in here because he lives kind of a distance from me and I may, it may take two or three days before I can actually go pick them up so that way they can be in here uh, there's a little door right here you'll have to unscrew this to use the sugar feeder but then you can slide the sugar feeder in there and leave it you know for a couple of days if you needed to there's a vent on this end right here and that's it all right, let's get started. All right, this is a piece of 3 8 plywood. It's a scrap that I have, and I'm gonna start by ripping uh, it to 12 inches, and this will be enough for all of my side pieces. All right, now I'm gonna get all my sides cut to length. I'm getting ready to cut the bottom, and this is an old door off of a cabinet that was salvaged. And I'm going to use uh, just use this for my bottom. All right, so here's our bottom board, and the other one I actually cut it short, so I had to uh, rip another one real quick. And I tore the veneer off right here, but uh, I'm going to put that on the inside. I don't think the bees will matter, so I uh, will mind. So, um, here's our cut sides, and 19 and, and 5 eighths, of course, is the length, and, and 12 inches is the height. Now, on one of them, I want to cut it down to 11 and a quarter, and I'll show you why in a little bit. But I'm going to go ahead and rip one of them down to 11 and a quarter wide. Okay, so that's got us to 11 and a quarter. So the next thing I'm going to do is go ahead and get this attached. And I'm using a stapler with one inch staples in it. You could use like number four finish nails or something like that. Um, and this is 3 8 plywood. Honestly, if I'd had half inch plywood laying around, it would have made this a little bit easier to, you know, nail into the edges. But if you do that, you're going to have to make these sides a little longer because they have to overlap that edge. And so if you're, if, uh, if this is thicker, if that's thicker wood, it's going to take this board a little bit long. It's going to need to be a little bit longer to uh, cover that. Okay, so let me get this uh, all nailed up.
Okay, now I almost got carried away and forgot to make my hole uh, in the bottom to be able to put a sugar feeder in here. So I need to do that next. What I'm going to do, I'm going to mark my inside height. <coughs> and then I'm going to come up 3 eighths. that <clears throat> I want to find the middle of my board it's 11 and a quarter so it's going to be let's see 10 and a half plus an eighth I mean five and a half plus an eighth gives me five and five eighths double check that five and five eighths so then we just come off an inch and a half both ways that fits my sugar feeder and I've got a video out there on how to make it, make that sugar feeder if you're interested. <clears throat> and I'll cut this out on the bandsaw. Next I need to make the strips to go across here that will hold the bars in place. Like that right there. All right, so I'll cut these 10 and a half inches long and the width could be anything. And this is just a scrap I had laying around. So, you know, a one by two would work just fine. So, first I'm just gonna take my bar and lay it right here. Alright, so that's got that in there, so now we can stick our bars in. And the reason this front's a little lower is once you get them all in there, if it was full, it'd be hard to get that first one out. This way, you can open the lid and pull this first one out like this to help you get it out. Okay, so I've cut some strips. These are one inch wide, and I'm going to use those to frame around the lid. And so, I'm just going to take take this and butt it up against this far end just like that and then I'm going to take two pieces the side pieces like that there's going to be one on each end so I'm going to take two side pieces and stack them like that and I'm going to mark that end and that will tell me how wide <coughs> my lid needs to be now if I made it exactly that it would be really tight so what I'm going to do is I'm going to add an eighth of an inch to that. And that's going to be the width of my lid. Okay, so now I'm going to cut that off on the miter saw. Now these two side pieces are going to be the length of this plus about an eighth of an inch. So measuring my pieces off of my box makes sure that they're going to fit. But now I need to cut a piece of plywood to cover the top. And so to see what size that's going to be, I'm just going to stack it together like, like the lid is going to be when I get through with it. So my width is going to be 13 and 8. And my length is going to be 22 and an eighth. Okay, so now I'm using a scrap of OSB to do this. I think I'm going to do it. I think I'm going to put this side up. 
even though it's got some holes in it. Anyway, I'm going to put this side up, I think. All right, so let me get this top put together. Now, before we put the last side on, I want to see how it's going to fit. Oh yeah, that's going to be fine. That's going to be fine. All right, we'll put some hinges on here and. Uh, I'm going to use these hinges. These are not what I would have bought, but I had these, so this is what I'm going to use. Um, I probably, if I was buying hinges, would just get a hinge that would just kind of go right here. You know, I'd screw part of it here and part of it there. So, you know, just whatever you can find. I'm going to put a catch on the front, and I'm just going to use one of these uh, wire hooks that I make. Uh, if you're interested in that, I've got a, a, a video out there. It's called Making Wire Hardware. Next thing I want to do is get my handle put on there, and this is just off a filing cabinet that uh, was recycled. You know, I would just use whatever you could find. Um, Next, I want to put a hole in here uh, for ventilation. Would have been easier to do that when this board was not connected. But, you know, I, make, I was making this as I go, so I didn't think about it. So right here, I'm going to drill out a hole. Okay, I'm drilling a one inch hole right here. I don't think the size is real critical. You probably wouldn't want it much smaller than that. Now here's the inside of our hole, and I've got some eighth inch uh, hardware cloth here. If I didn't have this, I'd probably just use a piece of screen, uh, which would probably work just fine. All right, so I'm putting a little strip of wood at the bottom of this just to uh, help kind of close it up a little bit. Now this is our, our little door here, and this is the sugar feeder. I've got a video out there on how to make that if you're interested. And I'm going to have to put it up on a little piece of wood to get it high enough. Normally, on you know, my hive that I built, um, it just sits on the part of the hive, so you don't need that board, but just for this temporarily. Alright, so to close up our door, this is just a scrap piece of uh, like quarter inch uh, luon or plywood and I need something to be able to close them up in there so about a half inch from each end this is about an inch longer than it needs to be about a half inch from each end I'm going to drill a hole 
and I need it to be three eighths from the top because I want the drill. I want the screw to go into our bottom is three quarters, so I want it to go right into the middle of that. These are my screws. I just want to drill a hole that's big enough for those to um, pretty much slide through because we're going to slide back and forth on that. Now I'm going to just round these corners. With the bandsaw I just sort of cut a V in there. You see how it's rocking up on that? If I would sand that corner down a little more, it wouldn't do that, but I really don't care, so. I'm just gonna leave it. And then that one I don't want tight. Well, I got it a little too tight. So there we go. And you could take a screwdriver and tighten that down if you were worried about it coming open. So that's got it finished. Got our cover on there and we can pull, let's see, you know what, I don't know. If you pull that up, you can't really get that in there. Hmm. Well, so you'll just have to take it off with a screwdriver. But, Okay. <clears throat> Get our bars put in. I actually needed a little spacer back there to make them tight. And that is ready to go get some bees. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching. So that's got it finished. Got our cover on there and we can pull, let's see. You know what, I don't know. If you pull that up, you can't really get that in there. Hmm. Well, so you'll just have to take it off with a screwdriver. But, Okay. Get our bars put in. I actually needed a little spacer back there to make them tight. And that is ready to go get some bees. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching.